Hey guys, welcome back. My name's Sam Bradbury. I'm a 22 year old entrepreneur from Cambridge. And today I wanna to give you guys my five top tips for trading Forex. So I have actually been trading Forex for about uh, two and a half, three years now. Um, and this is something which has actually brought me financial freedom. It's something which I absolutely love. Um, it's completely changed my life. But as a beginner, when I first started trading, I'm sure you've probably heard lots of people say the exact same thing, but I was losing money, uh, losing, 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 losing. And it wasn't until I actually found a good strategy, um, a good education platform, uh, and just practicing, practicing, practicing basically until I was actually able to make more money through the foreign exchange market than I did at my full-time job. So today I want to give you guys my five top tips to become successful in trading. Um, I want to give you guys the reality of trading, not just the, oh, look how much profit I've made today, not the millions of pounds, not all that kind of stuff. I want to give you guys a real breakdown of how you can make money trading. And I'm not talking about becoming a seven figure, eight figure trader. I'm talking about how you can just replace your income at least through the financial markets, okay? My top tip number one in trading is practice, 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 okay? Before you start risking any money, you should always use a demo account. A demo account is there to allow you to uh, know what's going on in the market. It's, allow you to, it's allowing you to make mistakes whenever you need to, and you can really practice as much as you want, as much as you need to, by using your demo account. Okay, so do not move on to a, a, a live account until you've actually mastered one strategy um, on your demo account first, okay? My second tip would be to get some education, okay? Whether it's through uh, YouTube, babypips.com, or if you want something that's a lot better, feel free to message me, I can give you some rec recommendations, but definitely get yourself a good, education in the foreign exchange market because I promise you uh, what you pay for will pay you okay and it is a massive investment into yourself so if you really want to take this seriously then 100% you need to have a good education okay the third thing I want to give you guys is learn one strategy and stick to it okay you want to just learn a single strategy and keep using that exact same strategy again and again and again and again. What I would recommend is while you're trying to choose this strategy or trying to learn different strategies to begin with, um, of course, using your demo account, uh, make sure you're um, learning for at least a month at a time with each different strategy. Once you find a strategy that really works for you and is giving you consistent results, um, then that strategy is the one for you and do not change that strategy. When you go to a live account and you start trading uh, with, with real money um, and you're using that strategy, if you keep consistent with it, then you will be able to make a lot of money, uh, I promise you guys. Um, so yeah, literally just stick to one strategy. Um, if it's not broken, don't fix it. There's no reason why, if you see someone else doing well with a different strategy, there's no reason why you should change yours uh, to match them, okay? You are your own person. Find what works for you and stick to it. Uh, that honestly is one of the best pieces of advice I could give you because trust me, it, this is something which took me a long time to learn. But when I found that one simple strategy that worked for me, it completely changed the way that I trade um, and the way that I teach other people how to trade as well, okay? So number four is uh, make sure you compound your account, okay? Or slow and steady wins the race. Um, if you focus on compounding your account, compound growth instead of uh, trying to get rich overnight, uh, because trust me guys, you won't, okay? This is the fastest way to blow your account. If you're over leveraging your account, risking too much money, 
you will blow your account, okay? So make sure that you are just aiming for consistent growth each and every single week, okay? Guys, the strategy that I'm using at the moment, I'm aiming for between one to 2% a day, every single day. Sometimes I get 3%, sometimes I don't get any percent, okay? It's just how, how it works, okay? But if you actually aim for, let's say, 10% a week, which is fairly easy um, if you have the right strategy, okay? Using 1.5% risk or 2% risk and a 1 to 2% risk to reward ratio, um, if, even if you just have 50%, you could get 10% a week, okay? 50% wins. You could make 10% a week um, and if you increase your account by 10% a week, starting from a thousand pounds, in one year, you'll make 142,000 pounds, okay? So that is compound interest. Now, in your first week, you might only make 100. In, your, in week two, you might make 100 and something, okay? But every single week, as long as you are compounding your account, and you are using that one strategy which you learned and you practiced with, okay? Once you uh, really find a consistent growth, even if it takes you a while to get to where you want to be, it is better than risking your whole account and losing all of your money. Trust me, uh, the foreign exchange market is here for a long time. Uh, you don't have to worry about getting rich now. Uh, just worry about getting rich eventually, okay? Uh, so slow and steady wins the race. Find your strategy, learn it, learn it, learn it. Be consistent with it um, and just keep moving forward, keep moving forward, keep moving forward and plan your steps as you go along, okay? So my top tip number five is don't trade with emotions, okay? Now this might just be a bit of common sense or you might think that this should be common sense, but a lot of the time when traders lose is because they trade emotionally, okay? Before I enter any market, before I start trading, I ask myself, how am I feeling, okay? Am I feeling ready? Am I feeling like I'm going to win? Or am I feeling down? Am I feeling like um, I, maybe I'm desperate for the money? Maybe I don't know, something's happened and I'm just not in the right uh, frame of mind. Um, I will not trade during those times because what you will find is let's say you take a loss a lot of people the reason why they lose isn't because they took a loss everyone loses in trading but it's because they tried to make more money after that loss they tried to win back their losses and then it starts becoming gambling okay so do not trade with emotions what you need to do if you do take a loss just leave it wait for the next good trade setup and continue uh, later on or if you have a losing streak just stop go back to your demo account keep practicing keep practicing keep practicing until your strategy is consistent and until you are successful on your practice account okay um, so make sure you are not in any bad mood or anything like that. Make sure you haven't just had an argument with your missus or your mom or your brother or whoever it is. Make sure you are in a good frame of mind before you sit down in front of the market because the market is there to take your money. Um, you're, you're there to try and take the market's money. The market's there to take your money. And if you're trading with emotion, you're literally allowing the market to do that, okay? So make sure you have um, a strong mindset before you go into the market uh, because it is in extremely important to stay positive and understand that you can take losses sometimes, uh, but don't get upset about it, okay? So guys, uh, thank you very much for watching this video. If you haven't already, like and subscribe. I will be making more videos about trading. If any of you guys have any questions at all, please do feel free to ask them down in the comments and I will try and make a video based on your comments. So make sure you do that. Uh, really appreciate all of you guys. Thank you very much. See you all soon.